<clears throat> All right, so hello, good afternoon everyone here in the room or uh, you guys who are watching this video currently. So welcome, this is a session for our intern graduation presentation. So one of our intern here, William, he's currently our backend developer intern in Bukit Vista, will showcase about his journey basically on his internship, what are the things that he has done, what are the things that he has learned, uh, during his three months of his internship here in Bukit Vista. So before that, um, <coughs> excuse me, let me actually introduce you like to a uh, few of the people who are attending this uh, session in this case. So, okay, we have William himself who is doing the presentation and we have a few team members of the product development team. We have Abam, Robin, Vito, as well as PD from the developers team. And we have Nadia as our vice chapter lead of the product development. All right, that's a quick introduction of the product team. And here I am, my name is Shelly, and I am currently in the human resource team, and I'll be the moderator for today. All right, so that's <clears throat> a little bit on the introduction. So without further ado, let's just go directly to the presentation. Hey, William, it's your time to shine. So please, the time is yours. Okay, thank you, Vashelin. Um, hello, everyone. My name is William, and I started my journey at VV on April, right, the 1st of April, and I ended on July 15. And, you know, before going on to the main story, I would first like you to hear my background story first. So I started coding on March 2021. I took an online course called CS50. It's an introductory course to CS. And then I never looked back, you know, I just found um, the whole CS field to be quite interesting. But after I did the CS50, I didn't really follow any structured curriculum. I just needed, I just browsed for information that I needed. And once I got what I wanted, I moved on, you know. And because of that, I am quite familiar with the basics, which includes stuff like Git, SQL, or ORM, but I have very little to no practical experience with them. I mean, if you gave me a SQL query, I would probably be able to read it, but if you told me to make one on my own, I would need some luck to make it right on the first try. And then I followed some online tutorials and I coded along in, and I did those projects in React and Node. And, you know, exactly one year later, I started applying for internship positions, you know, um, made quite a good CV and I started sending those CVs to several companies and BB reached back, you know, they gave me a take home assignment. I did the assignment and I did the trials and my trial project was about mm, making sure that making an API to communicate with Tokit was possible for BB Go. And, you know, I confirmed that this was possible and this would in turn be my main project here at Bukit Vista later. I passed my trials on March and started my journey at BB on April 2022. This was a snippet of my chat with Kafera, which is the one that hired me, I think. And, you know, with my background story done, let's move on to what a typical week at BB's feature is like. So this is um, the typical schedule. Every Tuesday, we have all hands from 9 to 10, and we have our chapter workshop from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. All Hands is like a company-wide meeting, and it is used to keep ourselves up to date with what's been going on in the company. Usually, um, our CEO, Mr. Jing, will give talks, or maybe Kat Bayu, our CTO. Yeah, the speakers vary from week to week. And then on our chat workshop, um, it's where we come together as a team to discuss about urgent issues that need to be solved and, you know, basically make our PD team life a bit more easier. And then on every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, we have PD stand up, which usually happens on 4 to 4.20. We usually have a short meeting on Discord, and it is where we update our progress on our 
projects to Kak Nadia or other product owner. And these are the tools that we usually use. We usually use Coda, which is like a documentation thing. You will find guidelines and instructions, you know, when you are um, first onboarding, this Coda is your best friend and you should use it wisely. And then we have Slack and Discord. They're both our communication channels. And we have G Google Calendar to um, to block our availabilities and to schedule meetings with other people. We have Trello, which is like a board for project management for us to update our progresses on. And we have Git, which is like a version control system. But if you're not too familiar with this, then I I was too. I When I first joined, I was not too familiar with Git, but you can learn it on the go. You know, don't be afraid. There's always Karobin there to help, right? And now we're going to move on about the things that I actually did when in my internship period here in BV. The first thing that I did was bug fixing. You know, in bug fixing, um, people are going to report unintended behavior on our systems, and we are hopefully going to find the root cause of the problem. But if we don't, then we will find a workaround that eventually solves the problem too. Um, the first bug fixing project that I worked on is fix Kadafit's weird payout info. So um, Kadafit is uh, responsible for the accounting part uh, of BB, and you know the payouts that Kadafit received. You know it's weird. The owner bank account and the BB bank account it's kind of mixed up, and turns out it's caused by inaccurate info in listings and weird BB share percentage. So what I did was that I made a script that fixed this listings information to the correct one. And for this BB share percentage, you know, um, I just changed the number. In the old days, the maximum BB percentage for partners was 25%, but now it's 30. And I changed that and it should be fixed by now. And the second thing that I worked on is can't unlist non-partners listing. So when partner status when when partners of board they change their status into non partner, but um, when it is done, then those listings that are still not yet unlisted it can't be changed. And turns out the problem was only because you know there was deleted add column on the partner on the partner column when they when they off. You know, it's just a simple fix. The simple fix would be to delete this deleted ad column when these partners are bored. And the second thing that I do is I iterate on old features. And these old features, um, and what I mean by this is that um, maybe someone has a new request that they want to add to the features that we have now, and we do that. The first thing is cancellation value and deleted at on canceled or altered bookings. So when bookings was canceled, was canceled, then the default behavior before I worked on it is that cancellation value um, stays unchanged, right? And it was the deleted at column was not touched too. So what I did was that um, when the bookings got canceled, I filled it with the right cancellation value and I deleted and I added something to the delete add column two so that it is marked as deleted. And when it's altered, I built in the correct cancellation value too. And second was that Slack booking feed notification. You know, Kagani told me when notifications came in the booking feed, uh, there were no information on the uh, which listing the booking came from. So it was a simple fix, just open into Gromat and added this message. And third, and I think the most interesting one is the Airbnb reviews from Integromat. Um, it was caused because Airbnb suddenly changed their email format. You know, usually um, we get our data from Airbnb through email, but they like to change their email format sometimes. And this time, what they did was that um, they don't send the booking ID of the reviews that came in. So we needed to do something, right, to associate the reviews to the booking, and we want to do so correctly. And this is what 
I did basically. This is a scenario that configures the, the book the refuse flow. When emails come in, they're gonna come from here and they're gonna move from left to right. And this is the part where we actually um, associate those reviews that came in to a booking ID. And you know, before I worked on it, we only associate them based on their guest name. But sometimes, you know, these guests um, have common names and they get associated to the wrong guest. So what I did was that I added this uh, associate by picture thing. And, you know, it turns out this associate by picture worked quite well. They were, there were still a few cases of, of reviews not getting associated properly, but at least it's better than just using the name. And yeah, I added the, the constraint for the 15 days too. And now let's move on to my main project, which is the BVGo calendar. And the BVGo calendar um, was made to be able to give our partners the ability to block and see their properties availability. And before getting into the technical stuff, I would first like to uh, give you the background of what Tokit is and what BVGo is. So BVGo is a mobile app that um, we give to our partners so that they can manage everything from their mobile phones. And Tokit is like a calendar management system. You can see uh, this property here, the Padang, and you can see that their calendars are blocked and whatnot. Um, so there are two types of blocks in Tokit. The first one is a hold event. And hold events are usually uh, done manually. And the second type of block is the booking block. And booking block usually comes directly from Airbnb. And, you know, uh, at our current situation, partners, if they want to see this calendar thing, they need to get access to their token account. They need to ask BB for it. And uh, in the future, we don't want that to happen. So that's where, so I developed, I'm developing a, an API system so that we can get the information for, to use in the BBGo app. So, yeah. Um, we don't uh, just fetch everything from Tokit. We just fetch the events from Tokit. But the bookings, we want to fetch the bookings from Bigger instead. Initially, you know, um, they told me to use the guest check-in list. But I thought to myself, hey, if it's just check-in list, then there would be some cases that are missing, right? So these are the four um, cases that would happen. And if the bookings were inside the start and end date, we would want that to be included. If the bookings were like this, you know, it starts from before the start date and the end date is in between, we want to include that too. And if it spans across the start and end date, we want to add that. And this is the last case. So. I, so bookings from bigger were fetched in to display every bookings in this scenario right here. And the third feature would be the add, update, or delete events. Uh, so the picture you see on the left here is the pop-up that you will see if you want to add a whole event on Tokit. And we want to replicate this behavior from BBGo, but there are some exceptions that we want to add, you know because um, in Tokit, you can do whatever you want. You know, it won't be angry for anything. But in BVGo, we don't want them to make events that ends in the past, you know, because if today is 14th of July, we don't want them to make an event from one to five because it's already in the past, right? And then we can also update, when updating old hold events, we don't want them to change the ongoing start date, but they can change their end dates. And the same goes for deleting hold events. They can't delete ongoing events and they can't delete events that are already in the past. So these two constraints were added because um, we don't want these owners to be able to cheat their way through our block calendar blocking system. You know, when events are in the past, they can just delete it and it will mess with our calculation for their blocking days quota, right? And we don't want that to happen. So this is the general flowchart. 
for my system i just made this yesterday and it's my mistake actually i should have made this on the very first day before developing stuff well i guess that's another lesson for me right and this is bookings from bigger and events from token we uh, ask for both of them and then we display them to the user and then these events from token we store them into a table called unit events and from these unit events we use them just solely for the purpose of calculating the block count calculation so um when the owner um wants to see events they're gonna see events that are directly from token but the calendar blocking days it's not as real time it's fetched from our database and when you want to add delete or update events they're gonna modify our table and they're gonna modify the events on toolkit too and yeah this is the postman api for the things that i've worked on you have these events right here on the top we have put post and delete and we have get event by property id get booking by property id get block count and get unit and get the toolkit id for the properties and this feature is actually still in development and it's I, I'm trying to merge it into staging and production. And it's not a smooth uh, attempt, right? I, this feature took down dev and staging servers like six times for various reasons. And I think that um, the first one is very silly. It's because incorrect file path capitalization. And the second one is a little bit more unexpected. It's because too much memory returned by my request. So the fix for this is that I migra migrated some stuff to DB instead of directly fetching it from Toolkit. And it seems to have fixed the issue of taking down servers. And yeah, mm, hopefully when it's in staging and production, things like that won't happen again. And, you know, I'm offboarding and there are some features that I, that rencananya I add, but there is not enough time, right? Because I didn't really expect mm, the old feature to take that long. So the frictions for the add booking feature is that what listing to use for the booking. And I think it's not pretty important right now, but it's just, a uh, yeah, if somebody wants to continue my work, then this is what you can do. And these are my side projects. Uh, when I spent my time in BB, I helped Kagani and awareness team manage their iCal connections. Then I made scripts to populate DB for reviews and fix listing bank account. And I migrated Python script for property assessment to Flash server. So um, I would like to talk a little bit about the side projects that I did. The first one is Token Multi-Room iCal. And for this, I worked with Kagani, right? And iCal is basically a system that allows you to um, make multi-room listing Instabook. Instabook means that they don't need to confirm with our team first before booking it. They can just book it on the go. Um, so this is um, a two-bedroom listing. And this two bedroom listing is connected to room five and room six. So when this two bedroom listing is blocked, we would like to bo block this room five and room six too. And when this six room is blocked, I wanna block the two bedroom two. And when the room five is blocked, I wanna block the two bedroom two. Yeah, I probably configured around 20 high priority properties that were uh, given by Kagani to me and made sure that they were configured correctly. And, you know, it's just a configuration stuff. But the thing that I am quite proud of is that I found some bugs that probably um, saved our team from overbookings, right? When I was just starting out, Kagani told me to configure iCals for multiple properties. So this is a two-bedroom property, three-bedroom property, and five-bedroom um, listing. And, you know, it was a mess. You know, um, things were not going as we expected them to go. And, you know, if this were to go to be insta booked, I think that a lot of overbooking would happen and I stopped that from happening. 
And this is another bug that we found. You know, sometimes when events are consecutive like this, they will not be imported correctly. Like this one is skipped and, you know, some people can block this room even though it's very clearly taken. And the second thing that I did was um, I made scripts, you know. Um, I'm actually quite interested in this because I've never made one before, right? I thought uh, you need to make, when you want to modify stuff, you need to do it manually, but it turns out you can make scripts to do it for you. And this was the script that I made to populate missing reviews. And this was the script that I made to populate um, my unit event table for the VVGO calendar. And the third thing that I did was that I made a Python, I migrated Python script to Flash server. And, you know, um, initially it's in a Google Collab sheet, right? If you want to get this um, score output, you need to run everything from top to bottom. And it's maybe not accessible to everyone. You know, not everyone knows um, how to run this stuff. So I made it into an endpoint that you can just hit and get the result. And, point, and you just need to pass in the start and end date. Right? And yeah, I guess that's all about um, the things that I did here in BV. Now I would like to share to you about the things that I have learned from BV. And this is a quote that uh, you will find in your job application portal when you open the website. And uh, this quote says, more than a place to work, Bukit Pista is a place to grow and to become your best self. And I think that this is really true, right? This is not just a um, bollock statement. And this is the things that I did. Uh, these are the things that I find myself growing on when I work here at BV. First is stack tools. You know, I got more familiar with Git, Postman, MySQL, Workbench, and GROP and whatnot. You know, I still remember the very first day. Um, I didn't know how to use MySQL Workbench. I had quite some hard time configuring it and Karobin was there to help me. But now, you know, I can use it comfortably. And second thing is design thinking. You know, there are trade-offs to the designs that you are trying to make, and you need to actually plan for everything before you start a project. And that's a mistake that I did, um, that I didn't realize until the very end. You know, I started coding and, you know, there wasn't, I wasn't very clear on what the project is gonna be on. And that results in me um, having to, do multiple iterations and you know revising here and there and this shouldn't um there shouldn't be as much iteration if i just plan everything from start to finish on the very first time and third thing is real life implementation of tech you know i've uh, never seen tech used in a company before and to see how Bukit Vista works with tech, you know, with Parser, Integromat, and their servers, it's very cool. And fourth is coding best practice. You know, uh, I've seen uh, the bigger code, ba code base and there was some nested code and callbacks that make it very hard to read. And, you know, you can try to catch errors and display them clearly to help you in your debugging session. And, Fifth is like what it operates, you know, how um, there are multiple divisions in the company that help them run. Um, it's my first time seeing it too, so it's cool. And the sixth thing is the important stuff to know in software dev. And I think that um, it's one of the most important points because when I first started out, you know, I don't really know what things are, what things are crucial and what things are not, right? I didn't really know that you won't use all those fancy algorithms in your day-to-day -day life, right? You don't need those Dijkstra thing or whatever. You just, uh, there are way more practical stuff for you to learn outside of CS, you know? Sometimes when you do CS, they teach you theories, but those theories um, are not very practical, you know, rather than looking into fancy algorithms you can just learn how to use linux correctly and stuff like that and yeah that's it for my presentation i guess i have a poem for you roses are red violets are blue i got so much out of bv and you will too
So if you're interested in applying, um, don't hesitate. Um, it's I think that it has helped me grow a lot, and hopefully that it will be the it will be the right decision for you too. So thank you everyone. Uh, nice to see you, and glad to be a part of your awesome team. Thank you. Done. Yay. <laughs> Done and dusted, yeah, William. <laughs> All right. So just now we have seen um, basically like a summary yeah, of like how William actually enters his journey as a backend developer intern in Wicked Vista. All right. Uh, thank you, William, for the presentation. And now, uh, okay. Uh, we got like a few uh, slots left, so a few minutes left actually for this uh, session. So I'd like to call out, <coughs> excuse me, maybe like few of the team members. I think everyone here in the room have also like worked together with uh, William in this case. So, okay, let me see. Uh, maybe first, can I call out to Abam perhaps? And maybe you can like tell us a little bit more like, how is it like working with William? Or maybe if there's anything you want to say about William. Okay, um, about William. Uh, uh, okay. I love uh, William, okay. polosnya William, uh, I love that, uh, and he's very, uh, apa ya? very funny, very, very cute, <laughs> and uh, apa ya? he has a lot of idea to bring to the product development team, I think, and help a lot uh, during uh, PD workshop, and uh some project uh yeah and uh, i i still remember william still uh, in the first uh, month of intern still has a hard time to do uh, version control in github uh, make a lot of mistake but uh lesson learned and yeah it's the important thing learn fast uh, and learn from that mistake yeah, i think that's from me and yeah, I will miss your polosan. <laughs> Good luck on your next journey. Okay, thank you. Thank you, you Abam. All right, thank you, Abam. So the word of the day from Abam is like uh, kepolosan. Eh? <laughs> All right, thank you, Abam. And next, maybe let me go to Vito in this case. So Vito, perhaps uh, Papa Pichu, yeah, like share a little bit, kaya. Uh, how was it like working together with William? Hey, hello William. Uh, so you'll be offboarded by tomorrow, I guess. And your farewell party tomorrow will be hosted by me. And I'm so sad. Uh, but yeah, time time flies and uh, you did a great job in Bukit Vista. Uh, we often transfer our knowledge in here. Uh, even though uh, kita belum ada satu projekan bareng, but yeah, we often uh, share our knowledge, and yeah, I think that's it. And good luck for your next journey, William. Thank you, Kavito. Okay, thank you, Vito. And okay, next, uh, perhaps let me turn to Robin. Robin, are you here? Okay, Robin may not be here. Hello, hello. Oh, okay, okay, you're here, Robin. Okay, tell us a little bit more from your perspective, Robin. Hello, William. Uh, congratulations for your graduation. And good luck with your next journey. Hey, hey, hey. Thank you, Ka. Um, okay. Robin. Message-nya very Robin style ya. <laughs> In this case, singkat, padat, dan jelas. Alright. Thank you, Robin. Then, okay, next, let me go to, siapa lagi ya? Uh, Vidi dulu deh, in this case. So, Vidi, uh, anything you would like to say about William? Um, yeah. Congratulations, William. Just like everybody said about uh, William. William is uh, very hardworking. Uh, never settle so fast uh, whenever there are any issues with his code he always he is eager to try to figure out the um, core issue using his code and 
he also expands his knowledge beyond just product development. I, I, I believe that he is working with Gani on Toki um, Pentel Mirror Icon, right? And uh, I've heard good words from Gani about you as well. And yeah, uh, overall, very solid uh, intern. Uh, I just need more honing in the um, technical aspects, I think. And probably a bit more on uh, communication in op community, communicating opinion because I, I know that William does have, for example, if there is a code review with me, William always, I always ask William why is it like that and not like the other way according to the business model. But then he, he did mention that he has the same thought as well and he did say to the, the other senior, but then he just followed at the end, followed at the other senior at the end. Yeah, it happens several times, but it means that William has the capacity to understand that uh, some uh, design patterns or maybe some architecture in the system itself uh, could be better, but uh, he just needs to step up more on uh, his work. So overall, very solid. And there was uh, a talk about William wanting to extend about a front, uh, being a front end, uh, but I don't know whether it's uh it's a deal yet or not William. Uh maybe school has something to do with the consideration, yeah. But hopefully we can see William again, yeah, very soon. Or if William has a change of heart in <laughs> learning front end, either either way, if it's still intern, then you can try to learn little by little, right? So that's possible as well. Yeah, but very solid. And if you have something to do with your assignment, I think you have a lot of uh, seniors here, Vito, Abang, and Robin that can help with your assignments, right? So that's a win-win for me. I see this as an absolute win. Okay, thank you very much, William, and good luck. Hearing All from right. you soon. Thank yeah. you, Kapi D. Yeah. All right, thank you. So, William, you can always like go back to your seniors over here as well. Uh, Bapak, mungkin ya, if you have like questions or what, if you want to like consult with the team as well. Okay, uh, don't forget to ask for their contacts. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> Thank you, VD. And okay, last but not least, Nadia, our uh, PD PCL. Okay, a few words perhaps for William. Okay. Thank you, Lin. And hi, Will. Why you know extend? <laughs> I thought we have agreement. <laughs> I thought we have agreement. <laughs> Gagal ternyata negosiasinya ya. Okay, uh, but yeah, um, you know, everyone have said um, already, so I'm just going to add a few things. Uh, William is actually, oh yeah, like full of spirits, you know, and yang paling penting lo lah, the machine. <laughs> uh, like, I worked like a lot, right, with him, uh, with the Talk It project, the calendar one, and also, um, he also... Uh, work with me with uh, the mobile father developer and he actually is doing really great so yeah um very good ownership uh, with the projects and everything that uh, he's working on as well as uh, also the motivation yeah to finish uh, every task every project even though you apa sih namanya itu ya make the dev server down <laughs> a lot of time. <laughs> And I need to reboot uh, the server like a lot of time as well, but that's okay. We fell fast. Um, so yeah, I can probably say that you have positively transformed during your time here in Bukit Vista. So we'll have we day and ditunggu. <laughs> yeah, kalau mau lanjut silakan. Banyak senior di sini. So yeah, thank you, Will. Yo, thank you, Kak Nadia. All right, thank you, Nadia. <laughs> okay, uh, basically, William, like, don't need, don't need to hesitate. Like, if you, yeah, cik, kalau ada change of heart, silahkan di approach lagi ya. <laughs> all right, and okay, I believe, um, apa, all of these seniors in the product development team has also like, uh, apa, stated their um, experience working together with William, how William is like doing the internship and so on. And okay, maybe I'll give it back to William. Is there any? Um, I wouldn't say last words, but yeah, for this session, maybe last words, yeah, last words, perhaps for um, everyone here in the room or maybe to those watching this video.
my last word. Uh, yeah. Any anything else that you would like to say? Mm, all right. Thank you, everyone. I would uh, like to express my gratitude because um, at first I was very clueless, right? I asked for a lot of help from you guys and. You know, I was actually quite scared at first because maybe you guys would see me as nanya nanya terus, but actually you guys treated me well and I um, appreciated the opportunity that you guys gave me to grow because, um, yeah, aku, I tried to not ask the same question twice, basically. I learned everything that I could. <laughs> okay, go ahead, Calvin. You want to say something? No, no, you, you finish first. Okay, okay. Mm, I would like to say thank you to Ka Robin too for being my um, mentor here, Koran uh, and Ka PD for helping me debug the servers because <laughs> it was quite a journey, right? There were a lot of lines and it's quite stressful even for me. And yeah, thank you everyone for giving me the internship opportunity because um, I was quite as hesitant of myself at first and, you know, giving the opportunity to work here, I am a bit more confident now. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, mantap, William. Okay, uh, Abab, would you like to deliver the apa? Pantun balasan nih? <laughs> okay, uh, this is for William. Just wait it, uh, last second. Uh, okay, uh, Roses are red. Files are blue. Why not extend? You still have a lot to pursue. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, okay. Consider, consider, considering. Mantap, gila. Pantun balasannya cakep. <laughs> all right, thank you, Abang and William as well. Um, all right, maybe before we end this session, uh, could we like have a quick photo session tips? Okay, uh, mungkin Nadia boleh on cam juga, if you don't mind. And yeah, we can like... <coughs> wait, wait, dulu bentar ya, wait. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm um, getting on your setup, yeah. Okay, like everyone can, yeah, also like prepare yourself, I don't know, mungkin, I don't know, find a good angle of yourself. Pokoknya <laughs> kas piti dong. Kenapa? Poso gamer, poso gamer. Poso gamer, mantap. <laughs> Alright, oke. Oke, we'll wait for Nadia ya. Ayo, Nadia, let's go. You good? Oke. Okay. <coughs> Wah, pas banget di tempat aku, Nadia di tengah. <laughs> Alright, oke. Okay. Apa nih pose gamer? Seriously? <laughs> Klasik banget dari dulu, dari dulu. Klasik sekali ya, Mas Gamer ya. Alright, ready ya? Oke, okay, one, two, three. Oke, okay. maybe one more. Bebas saja ya. Uh, one, two, three. Alright. Okay, thank you everyone here, the PD team for attending this session. Thank you uh, for everyone who has watched this video until the end. And once again, congratulations, William, for your graduation from your internship in Bukit Vista. And hope to see good news from you <laughs> in the near future. <laughs> All right, thank you everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you so much. Thank you.